Hi guys, this is a comment reply video for Chong Chong. He wants a clockwork generator for LEDs and also to charge supercapacitors. Well, yes and no is the answer. Um, here's a simple example. This one is clockwork, in other words you press that to wind it up and it lights up LEDs. We'll have a look inside in a minute, but it depends exactly what you mean by clockwork. I mean, we have a clock going here, this is a kit that I got from a charity shop a while ago, and there's nothing in there that actually moves fast enough to generate that sort of current. Um, we could take everything apart and just use the spring on the back so that we wind it up and then let it go, rather like most clockwork cars go. <laughs> I've killed that now. Oh, well, never mind. Um, or we could just use something like this. Let's take this apart anyway, just so we can see what's inside. It'll probably all spring apart. All right, so there's our clockwork mechanism. That lever goes down, that turns that wheel, which turns that. These bits fall apart. And on the back of there is actually a magnet which spins over that coil and that generates electricity. And this one's also got some uh, probably nickel metal hydride batteries there that if you do it for long enough it would actually charge those up. So you could just replace those with a supercapacitor and we've actually done the task. Clockwork generator for LEDs and also charge a supercapacitor. If we give it a bit of bit of charging. The rotor's now stopped spinning. But look, they did hold charge. So you could just stick a supercapacitor in there instead and get exactly the same result. 